start off with a reminder. Did you know that you are the strongest whenever you embody the person that God called you to be? You see, God has given each one of us a specific set of skills, talents, a specific set of passions that are completely unique to each person. And God expects us to use those. He expects us to take actions that are in line with how he created us. Um, he expects us to use those passions and skills. And when we do use them, when we do live a life that's in line with those things, we experience joy. Uh, Nehemiah 8.10 says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. And thinking about that biblical truth, I'm reminded of a story from 1 Samuel, and it's the story of David and Goliath. You see, the story demonstrates how God has uniquely equipped each of us. It begins with an army standoff. The Philistine army is on one side of the ridge, and the Israelites are on the other side. And at the center of this conflict stands Goliath, a mighty Philistine warrior who towers over everybody, some saying he's nine feet tall. Now, Goliath challenges all of Israel to send forward a challenger, someone to fight him. And if they defeat him, the Philistines will go away. But if he wins, then the Philistines get to control Israel. Upon hearing this challenge, King Saul and all of the Israelite army is afraid. They're covered in fear, terrified. And Goliath does this for 40 days. While all of this is happening, there's a young shepherd boy uh, living in a town of Bethlehem that travels to the battlefield to bring food to his brothers who are soldiers in the Israelite army. This young shepherd's name is David. And he hears the challenge of the giant Goliath. And rather than succumbing to fear, David stands up. David accepts Goliath's challenge uh, not to everybody's liking. In fact, King Saul tries to pull him aside, asks him to stop and maybe not do this. He might not be prepared to fight somebody like Goliath, a skilled warrior. As King Saul tells that to David, David responds with that he, the fact that he's a shepherd, that in that line of work, he's had to fight off many animals, bears and lions, to protect the flock. As the story goes, David foregoes any armor and brings a sling and a few stones into battle and defeats the giant Goliath. The thing about this story that I like so much is David turned his strength as a shepherd into strength as a warrior. The principles and the abilities were the same. He needed to protect the people, protect the flock. But the situation and the circumstances were different. And yet David was able to turn that strength of a shepherd into strength as a warrior. Just like David, you and your life have been unfolding in a unique way. Just like David, God is equipping you for battles that you can handle. And if you deny your unique qualifications, if you deny your passions, your skills, and your talents, then you're choosing to forego your own strength. You're choosing to pass it up. I want you to remember that you are always your strongest whenever you are the person that God created you to be. Grace and peace.